Hello everyone. Now question number 2. Question 2 is find the sum of money. Sum you have to find out. It means you have to find out the principal that amounts to 5850. Means this is your amount. Time is given 6 years and 5% is your rate. So we have to find out the principal. So we will keep the principal as it is. And here amount is given. Amount is given rupees 5850. Time is given 6 years. And rate of interest is given 5% per annum. This thing is given. We know that the amount equal principal plus simple interest and simple interest is not there. So first thing we will write, we will find out the simple interest over here that is PRT upon 100, PRT upon 100. So, simple interest we are getting it as principal is not given, rate is given 5 and the time is given 6 upon 100. So, this is the principal and if you want you can cancel the terms here. So, it goes with 3. So, the simple interest we are getting it as 3p upon 10. This is the simple interest which is given in the form of P. Now we have to find out the principal by using this formula. The amount, amount is given as principal plus simple interest. Now we will substitute the amount here that is 5850. Principal we will keep it as it is. And the simple interest is 3p upon 10. Now, how will you solve it further? By taking its LCM to get the value of p. So, this is 10p plus 3p. So, 5850 equal 13p upon 10. Now, to find out p, we will do the cross multiplication. So, 5850 multiply 10 upon 13. Now, we will cancel the terms over here. So, if we will cancel it, 5850 divided by 13. So, we will be getting as 450. So, what is the principle here? Principle is 450 multiply 10. So, the principal is or the sum of money is rupees 4500. So, this is the answer. Now, next question. In question 3, question is what the sum? Again, we have to find out the principal will earn an interest of rupees 480. So, interest. So, it means that this is, this is simple interest for two and a half years and rate of interest is given as 3%. So, again we will be finding out the principal here but the simple interest is given as rupees 480 and time is given as two and a half years. So, it means what is the time if we will write it in the fraction so 5 by 2 years. And the rate of interest is given as 3% per annum. So, don't forget to write the per annum. Now, we will be using the simple interest formula because simple interest value is given PRT upon 100. So, 480 principal we have to find out. So, keep it as it is. Rate is 3 and the time is 5 upon 2 and upon 100. So, what should be next step? To do the cross multiplication or 
we can cancel the term also by doing it like this. So now to find out the principal, we will do the cross multiplication. So it would be 3p, 3 multiply p. So it would be 3p and 480 multiply 20 multiply 2. So 480 multiply 20 multiply 2 upon 3 would be the value of p here. Now we will cancel it. This goes with the 3. So 160. Now we will be solving it further. So 160 multiply 40 equal principal. So this will be 6400 would be principal. So rupees 6400 will be principal here. Now question number 4. Question 4 is Mr. Mehta borrowed a sum of money at 8% per annum. So this is rate. Rate. If he paid 640 as interest, so this is simple interest after 5 and a half years, 5, 1 by 3 years, find the sum borrowed by him. So again we will be finding out the principal here. So simple interest is given 640. Rate is given, rate percent is given 8% per annum and time is given 5, 1 by 3 years. So this will be 16 by 3 years. Now we will use the simple interest formula PRT upon 100. Now we will again substitute the value Principal, we will keep it as it is. Rate is 8 and time is 16 upon 3. Now, next step. What should be the next step? To do the cross multiplication. So, 6400 multiply 100. Sorry, 640 multiply 100 multiply 3 equal P multiply 8 multiply 16. So, what should be next step? To find out the value of P, what we will do? We will take the terms which are written along with the P in the denominator. So, 640, 640 multiply 100 multiply 3 upon 8 multiply 16. So, this is the value of P. Now, what, we should, what would be the next step? We will cancel it. So it goes with 16, so 16, 4, 40 it will come as. Now cancel these two, so it will go with 5. So what should be the answer? 5 multiply 100 multiply 3 will be the principal. Therefore principal equal rupees 1500. So this is the principal or the sum borrowed by Mr. Hetha. Now question number 5. Question 5 is simple interest on a sum of money is 9 by 16 of the sum. What is the question? Simple interest is 9 by 16 of the sum. If the rate of interest is given 4, 1 by 2 percent, find the time. So, this is rate given and the simple interest is 9 by 16 of the sum. So, we will take let principal. We will take let the principal as rupees P. So, what should be the simple interest? Simple interest, therefore, it would be 9 by 16 of the sum. Sum means principal. So, 9 by 16 of principal. And here, rate is given 4, 1 by 2 percent per annum. Rate is given 4, 1 by 2 percent per annum. So, it would be 9 by 2 percent per annum. Now, since... 
we have got the simple interest in the form of principal so we will be using the simple interest formula here again crt upon 100 simple interest is given 9 by 16 p and we will keep this p as it is rate is given 9 by 2 and time we have to find out so what should be next step since we have to find out the time so we will do the cross multiplication so time 9 multiply p multiply p cross multiplication so this will be multiplied like this multiply 100 multiply 2 equal p multiply 16 multiply 9 multiply t now since we have to find out the value of t so all these terms will go in the denominator so 9 multiply p multiply 100 multiply 2 upon this whole term will come in the denominator like this so this is the value of t now we will be solving it for the how will you solve it by cancelling the term look here the p and p would be cancelled out 9 and 9 would be cancelled out what else we can cancel it here we can cancel 2 with 16 that is 8 now these two will be cancelled out again with it will go with the 4 here it will come as 25 so the time would be 25 by 2 years but we will not keep the answer like this so time will be 12 1 by 2 years how this uh, this thing come over here by dividing it so if you will divide 2 25 by 2 so it goes like this 25 it goes with the 1 then 5 2 4 so 12 1 by 2 so same thing we have written 12 1 by 2 years it means 12 years and half year means 6 months. So this can be written like this also 12 years and 6 months also. Like this also we can write the answer. I hope these questions are clear to all of you. That's all for today. Thank you and have a nice day.